Pueblo's Impossible Playhouse was ablaze with comedy Saturday as the Comedy Inferno event, a stand-up comedy fundraiser for the Impossible Players in its playhouse, packed the house with five comics, including two national headliners. The event was spearheaded by Steel City Stand Up and aimed high to be the top homegrown comedy event in recent memory. We did a show a few months ago that was a failure. So uh, <laughs> we, we decided let's try and do a bigger show and bring in some, some more people and uh, make up for that failure and then some. So we contacted our friends Amber and Ben and they came in and uh, helped us out with that. Well, I'm just excited that there are shows here now because when I started there wasn't anything except maybe at Angelo's or if I put together a show at Dewdrop. So once there started like open mics starting to pop up, I think it's exciting. You know, when I when I went when I was at County, I was sort of envious of like the city kids, just because I thought I'm like, oh, those kids are just they live on the streets. Like I thought that they were street kids, and we were like running around the farms, like eh, let's go have a, a drink on a railroad track. Uh, but that was fun. Like when we snuck out, when we when like girls would sneak out to go meet a boy. We would have to walk like two miles through fields and ditches just to go make out. <laughs> and then, you know, run from the cops. Like, there was true love happening at PCH. <laughs> we freaking walk miles and miles. Well, it has grown a bunch more. You know, it, it, like she said, we, there used to be a comedy show once every five blue moons at Angelo's. And then other than that, you were stuck watching the internet or performing for your wife or girlfriend. And now we have some weeks, we have two open mics a week. We have at least one open mic a week, which for us is fantastic. Springs is, you know, we're a fifth the size of Colorado Springs. We have a much huger co uh, comedy scene. Like so they can take all our water, but we're funnier. My friends, I got friends in Colorado Springs, and they give me so much crap. Because every town has to look down on the next town like we look at Trinidad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They do, and they give me so much crap, they're like, Pueblo, uh, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, who has better food? Right? <laughs> Pueblo, home of the Chili and Friolis Festival, what do you have in Springs? Dry Cracker Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them, they're like, Pueblo, uh, it's a bunch of dirty minorities on welfare. I'm like, whoa, whoa. What is Springs? Angry white people on para. <laughs> Same checking account, guys. Yeah. It's got the, I think the city has, like, because of the people and how working class it is, I think it's got the pieces necessary to, like, build a, a very cool comedy scene. Um, and judging by the crowd, I mean, they were, like, so varied in the age range. Even the older people had a good time and had mm -hmm. a, kind of a, a, a darker, like, sensibility. They were <laughs> like, I mean, so. And it's so nice that, that it's so and ironic that the stage is designed uh, exactly how I imagine every apartment in Pueblo looks. <laughs> this is what I imagine a condo in Pueblo looks like. This is my writing table. <laughs> Here is Denver. <laughs> when we started in Denver, we used to like, ha like, have just a couple open mics a night. Considering the difference in population, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't all that much better than that. And now, you know, there's three or four a night, depending on the night of the week. And and uh, so, I think you guys are doing you're following the same thing. You're just trying to figure out ways to get the people to come out and bringing in people and if you can get sponsors and people that get behind it you know and fly comics in to do it for one night yeah. I mean, comics will go places for very, like for basically to break even a lot of the time I mean a lot of the people that we bring in you give them a few hundred bucks in a hotel room and flight and they're good you yeah know? and if mm. you can make that at the door you can really start to put together a pretty radical scene so you hear that potential sponsors we did big numbers tonight are we having fun so far yeah. i heard somebody say no get out yeah. <laughs>